Once you have finished the writing portion of creating your resource, you're going to come over to the second tab where it says Describe. Um, the purpose here is to basically create descriptions that help others discover your work. Um, as you can see, there are a few different components here, and I'm just going to briefly speak on each one to give you an idea of how it is you should use it. Um, the abstract is basically a short summary of what your resource is and what you know it will be used for. And as it says here, this will appear in the preview in the search results. Um, so that will allow the people who are looking for your resource to kind of, that's that first impression that you can give with them to make them want to click and use your resource, hopefully. Um, general subjects, it's nice. It's got a drop down. So, you know, if you're a, a reading teacher, it's got that. Um, or, you know, if you're a history teacher, you can even be more specific with the types. So you really have the options here with the drop down menu. And you basically just click it and it will bring it right up. And that'll just be another way to help people who are searching for it. Uh, primary user and that's basically all right you know is this going to be for the teacher is this something that you're going to be presenting to students or administrators um, just another thing and like like the previous it's a drop down and you just click on which one you know, you'd like for example this one would be more for teachers I might even say that administrators could use this as well um, educational use once again some more drop down you're going to use it for curriculum assessment professional development um, in a situation like the one we're in now uh, you might use the mind might say professional development because this is helping other educators learn and understand how to use the resource at hand uh, and if I wanted to say oh you know what other just so I'd have more search come up that would work as well educational levels same thing it gives you the drop down um, in this case, I might say this is for, you know, graduate work. Um, grades, you go all the way up. You scroll down all the way up to 12th grade, okay, whichever one you would pick. And as you can see, if it doesn't match, it's going to kind of let you know that you, you know, it's the, the search isn't going to come up right. So you would kind of get rid of that and then you'd be able to move forward. If you choose graduate or professional, you wouldn't have to actually fill out grades language um, all the options that you need I would click English here material type so you know depending on what you're using this for if you're using it for your students you might say it's an assessment or homework assignment um, you might even say that if it's an activity for teachers as well um, you know you talk about what types of materials are included you know is it a lecture is it a lesson plan and so once again these things will just kind of narrow down uh, what people will find when you search it and then learning goals so these you would just type in this case I would say for teachers and administrators to learn how to use open author I might click add it would stay up there if you wanted to change it or fix it you would change that um, keywords, this is fully up to you. I might say open author. I hit enter. It creates another tag that, you know, one of these meta, ta meta tags that they're going to see. Um, I might, I, you know, I use, um, I talk about different resources. I use creative commons. And as you can see, it will give you some suggestions as well. Um, so you may see things that you weren't even necessarily thinking of. Um, educational standards. Uh, this, you know, depending on the state you're in, you can kind of check. And it's going to work the same way to where if you were to check, you know, English language arts, for example. And then you just kind of keep going through grade, which makes it really easy. What type of domain? And it just keeps creating more drop downs and allowing you to pick your standards. Because often, you know, teachers may be searching... You know, they might not know an activity that they want to complete, but they know generally what the idea is that they want to create and just kind of maybe do some brainstorming based off the standards. So these are this is kind of how you use the describe section. Um, you know, and once again, it's just to create those meta tags in which uh, other teachers or administration or students could find to you know narrow down and to make your work really appear to them. So 
After that, you would hit next step, which would bring us to submit, which we'll talk about further on.